So I always make a big corned beef and cabbage. I get a really big corned beef so that I can use the leftovers and turn them into all different types of things uh, for, for next week. So um, I love a good Reuben sandwich. One of my all time favorite sandwiches, right? I mean, who doesn't like a good Reuben? So we're gonna take all the flavors of a Reuben sandwich, use that leftover corned beef, and make something really cool that will completely make you look like a rock star. This is a great recipe um, for a weekend, for movie night, for March Madness. It's a Reuben sandwich ring, and man, is it good. So it starts with a super yummy filling. So for the filling, I'm gonna use one block of cream cheese, and this comes together very, very quickly. If you can pop that cream cheese into the microwave for just you know 15 seconds or so, and that'll get it um, to soften just a little bit. So while that's softening, I'm gonna add a little green to this filling. We're basically making a cream cheese, corned beef, sauerkraut, uh, Swiss cheese filling to go in a beautiful sandwich ring and you, you pull it out of the oven um, and watch everybody ooh and ah. So I'm real excited about how cool this looks. Okay, just giving that parsley uh, a little bit of a chop because the filling isn't real pretty, it's real tasty, but adding a little bit of fresh parsley really is gonna make it look a little more pretty. Uh, the other thing you could do is if you have dried parsley, that would work just fine, but I like adding a little fresh in there. All right, so now I've got basically um, one block of, now the cream cheese is nice and soft and easy to work with. So I've got my cream cheese, I've got my fresh parsley. This filling could be made ahead of time, and then you, you know, you could get everything all done ahead of time and have it in your fridge, and then bake it when you're ready. Um, so I'm gonna add to this, to give that cream cheese some nice flavor, some garlic powder, from Bulk Price Food Shop. I'm gonna add some Swiss cheese. Shredded Swiss cheese is um, what I'd like you to use if you've got that. I'm gonna add, I love horseradish. If you don't like horseradish, by all means you can leave it out, but I'm a big fan of, of horseradish. Sauerkraut, now um, I think, you know, one of my favorite parts of a Reuben is all those great flavors of the Swiss cheese, um, the corned beef, and of course the sauerkraut. One of the things I really like to do is um, get good quality sauerkraut, and you may not know this, but we make almost all the world's sauerkraut right here in our neck of the woods in uh, outside of Shayokton, Bear Creek, uh, Wisconsin. That's where uh, the, the sauerkraut, most of it for the whole world is made. So get yourself some good uh, sauerkraut, really drain it well. Sometimes I'll even rinse it in a colander and squeeze it dry and that can get rid of some of the strong flavor of sauerkraut. I've happened to, I've fallen in love with sauerkraut, didn't used to love it so much, but I really love it now. And the last thing we're gonna do is leftover corned beef. You can shred it up, you can dice it up, or if you're not making a corned beef um, this St. Patty's Day, what you can do is just go to the deli and get some, um, I like to get a nice thinly sliced corned beef from the deli, good quality, and just, give it a nice chop. So the filling is super easy and it's so full of flavor. This whole recipe is actually really easy, but it's so cool when it comes together. So just giving that a nice chop and that's gonna get in there with everything else. And now we're gonna start putting this bad boy together. And it's, like I said, such a crazy fun recipe. I'm also gonna show you how to make a quick, easy, homemade Thousand Island dressing with stuff you have in your fridge right now. Um, no need to go out and buy Thousand Island dressing. You can make it at home really easily. So mix this filling all together. I've lined a cookie sheet or a pizza pan with a foil that you can spray with cooking spray or parchment paper because you don't want this to stick and you want it to be able to slide off the baking tray, um, and, and well, you don't have to, but I'm gonna serve this on a cutting board so it looks real cool. So just, if again, that cream cheese is softened, see how easy that comes together? All right, here we go. This is such a fun, easy idea. I want you to give it a try. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bowl, I'm gonna put that in the center of your baking sheet or your pizza pan. Then I'm gonna take 
crescent roll dough. This is gonna be like the bun or the bread for our Reuben sandwich ring. Just gonna give it a whack because that's how we do it at home. And you wanna separate into the triangles here. You could easily cut this recipe in half and do half the filling. And if there are just, you know, smaller group, if you're just cooking for a couple of people, you can cut this whole recipe in half. But you're gonna take the wide side of the triangles and I'm using this bowl as kind of a guide. And we're gonna kind of make like a sunshine. This is basically gonna be a sandwich ring and when it all bakes together, it looks so super cool. So just keep going with your little crescent roll dough, and some of them may not be perfect. And again, when it all bakes together, it's gonna look so cool. Don't worry about it. It's like a, if a little piece of the dough breaks, no biggie. And you wanna kind of overlap them a little bit. You may not need all 16 triangles. You can make a little bit of a smaller one. I just wanna check on the one I've got in the oven. Oh, it looks so cool. Can't wait to show it to you. All right, one more tube of this. I guess I could have had this one open. I've done all sorts of different fillings for these sandwich rings. And I don't know, they're just like a real wow factor and they're, they're a little bit putsy to put together, but I can't wait to show you what it looks like when it's all done. And not everybody wants to do a whole corned beef. I get it. They also are a little bit pricey this year. So this is a great way to kind of do it on a budget. All right, so now you're gonna take some of the filling and you don't wanna, the key is you don't want to overfill these guys. So I'm using like a scoop, because it just makes it nice and easy. And you kind of put that in here. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. If you're making this ahead of time, definitely get it in the refrigerator. Don't let it hang out on the counter because that crescent roll dough will get warm and then it's just not gonna bake up right. So just kind of get this all in here. Yum E. Okay, Oop, did I miss one? Sorry about that, buddy. Okay, that one looks a little skimpy on the filling. And you'll do better at home because you're gonna have a little more time. You're not gonna be on TV doing this in a hurry. So then you just, this is so easy. The tops, the triangles just get folded over, over that Reuben filling. You just kind of tuck it in here. Then we can lose our bowl because that was just a guide. And then the last thing we're gonna do to make it look really pretty just kind of tuck it under, is I've got an egg that I'm gonna beat. And I've got some sesame seeds. Or you could do dried parsley or, you know, a mixture of dried parsley and, and sesame seeds or poppy seeds would be really good on this. Sometimes I put a tiny bit of water in with that egg just so it's not too eggy if you get my drift. And then I'm gonna brush this on top, just on top of the dough, and that's gonna give it a nice shine after it bakes. And this is a quick bake. This is literally done in less than 20 minutes. Everybody's oven's different. I bake it at about 350. Here come my sesame seeds or poppy seeds or, or combination. Okay, can't wait to show you what this looks like when it comes out. The crescent roll dough needs to be golden and the filling needs to be warm. So that's what you're looking for. So I just wanna see how we're doing here. If I should make my, oop, I'm gonna give it two more minutes and while I do that, I'm going to make a quick, easy homemade Thousand Island dressing. So Thousand Island dressing is traditionally what we will serve with a Reuben. So I don't like buying store-bought salad dressings, just not a fan. So I love making my own. 
And again, you have everything in your house to make this right now. I'm sure you do. I'm using mayonnaise. I'm using ketchup. And I like dill pickle relish. If you're uh, more of a sweet pickle relish, by all means, you can use sweet pickle relish. And again, the recipe for this is on the website, but I'm mixing it together. And there you go. You've got homemade Thousand Island dressing. I'm gonna do a touch more ketchup. So here's, I wanna pull this out of the oven and show you how to serve this. All right, Thousand Island is done. See, you'll never buy Thousand Island dressing again, will ya? And if you're doing this for a salad ever, you could thin it out if it gets a little bit too thick with a little bit of milk. All right, so here we go. You ready for this? Even if you don't want to make this for St. Patty's Day, make it another time. You can always get corned beef at the deli. And this is why I lined this with parchment paper. My producer, Abby's nervous right now. Don't be nervous. I got this, Abby. Because I'm going to gently, and the parchment paper is going to help, slide this on. This is a cutting board I brought from home that we use for pizzas. And then you can put a Thousand Island right inside, and then you just kind of cut these, put them on your St. Patty's Day or your game day um, little spread, and watch everybody dive in and devour it. Reuben sandwich ring, super fun for St. Patty's Day or anytime.